What's going on, YouTube people? Um, obviously, I'm off work now. It's about 6.15. I've been home for about, <clears throat> I don't know, 4.30, 5.30, for like an hour and 45 minutes now. I'm really tired, and I was really not going to do this video vlog, but I figured you guys gave me 101. Oh, yeah, it's back up to 101 now. But you guys gave me 101 of your subscriptions, so the least I could do is not lie to you about making video vlogs. Um, <clears throat> I have the most ghetto setup going on right now. I'm actually holding my lamp so that the whoops, <laughs> so that the lighting isn't so sucky, because I don't feel like actually like getting out of bed to do this video. But as you can see, my curtain behind me is like it's letting in the daylight. So. Um, <clears throat> But anyway, so today at work is pretty good. Um, okay, so I work in this like, doctor's office. I'm an office assistant. Um, and the doctor's office is mainly comprised of like white people. Um, there's a few Latinos or Latinas um, and some Indians. Not like Native Americans, but Indians like from India. And... <clears throat> As I was in my office today, like, doing work or whatever, I overhear them talking about the ghetto. Now, here's this white lady who's obviously kind of, like, upper middle class, but she's, like, schooling, quote-unquote, the rest of the upper middle class or wealthy people that work there, doctors, about what the ghetto is. And she's actually, she's like, yeah, you know, the ghetto is a place where, you know, you can literally live there for months or years at a time and not pay one single drop of rent, you know, because by then it becomes squatter's rights. <clears throat> so I'm looking at her, like, well, I'm not looking at her because I really wasn't supposed to be listening, but I'm thinking to myself, like, are they serious? Like, really? Because honestly, in the ghetto, if you don't pay your rent, they're quicker to kick you out than if you live in a nice area and you don't pay your rent. So then she goes on to talk about how, like, <clears throat> these certain areas were ghetto and, like, I guess compared to where they live at, the areas she was mentioning, like, were ghetto, but she was basically talking about, like, Edison and Touchin and Perth Amboy and things like that, and so I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, seriously, you know nothing about the ghetto, like, and it just trips me out when people who have never, like, set foot in the ghetto a day in their lives think that they can educate other people on what the ghetto is like. But anyway, that was the, the funniness that went on at my job today. I would have gotten pissed about it, except I really didn't care too much, like, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I get off from work today, and I was going to go play basketball with my friend, but I kind of got into it with my boyfriend a little bit, so I ended up, like, not even being in the mood. Like, we resolved our little issue or whatever, so it's fine now, but, like, I was really heated for a minute there. It's... I don't know, I'm not even going to get into it, it's not really anything I would like to air out over YouTube, but I was definitely heated, so baby, if you're watching this, yeah, I was seriously pissed off, seriously, um, <clears throat> let's see, I was cooking last night, and I, grease popped on my face, do you see that mark right there, that's definitely not a beauty mark, that's where grease popped on my face. So now, like, it kind of looks like I have a beauty mark, and I guess that's cool and everything, but it's definitely not a beauty mark. <laughs> like, grease, but it popped on my chest, too, so I've got, like, two marks on my chest, but, hmm. um, let's see. There's not really much for me to talk about. Like, I'm sitting here watching Spongebob in my underwear with my work shirt still on, and, um, I feel like I don't really ever have anything to talk about anymore, um, unless I'm talking about, like, like, I know these are video blogs, so they're, like, about my daily life, but life isn't really interesting enough to be blogging about. Oh, snap, I got a text message, um, and, well, at least someone loves me, um, let's see who loves me.